back at you with another video from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So now, you know, we got to talk about the R. Kelly series and all the fake outrage that's been going on for the past week now. And I really don't like talking about a lot of these entertainers because that's just what they are entertainers personally I don't take a lot of these people serious until proven otherwise because you know the, the, the music business especially it's a cold game it really is there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that you might not be aware of or you might not even understand but let's just put things in perspective number one music business is a cold game I've, I've you know I've been living long enough to remember I remember when R. Kelly first came out this is about man probably like 30 years ago now I'm I'm old enough to remember when he came out. When R. Kelly came out, I was in high school 30 years ago. And you know, he at one point, if you if you're old enough to remember, at one point R. Kelly was bigger than life. He was the best thing smoking. I mean, when it comes to music, I'm talking like the creation of music being in the studio the production the, the lyrics he's one of the best that ever done it just from a talent talent wise point of view no one can deny that but he's done some foul stuff and this has been going on for a long time this has been going on for since Aaliyah was alive now but the but the point is a lot of these parents are pimping their kids out and see I have a problem with people people will drop their kids off to his house no one they know how he is they know he's a pervert but when they don't when their daughters don't get the record deals that they want now all of a sudden it's a problem and all these women that's been on the series, none of these women have filed any charges. So I guess it wasn't that bad. Whatever, whatever he slapped them up or whatever he done or whatever. So see, see the problem with a lot of women out here. It's another problem that we have. Not only will they pimp the kid, their daughters out. Not only will they um, sacrifice themselves sexually, you know, but they'll look over a lot of stuff that guys do if they have talent, power, money, influence. You see, that's a problem. That That's a real big problem because... If it's if it's wrong for this guy, it should be wrong for the next next guys too. But see, it doesn't usually happen that way for a lot of women. A lot of women, if she's highly attracted to you, love, lust, attraction, she'll let a lot of they'll they usually let a lot of things slide. They'll be like, "Oh, it wasn't that bad," you know. He didn't hit me that hard, you know. So it's that dynamic that plays out too. That plays out with a with a guy that's not famous. I've ex I've experienced this. Women have be women are highly attracted to me. They let a lot of things slide. They're like, oh, you don't go to church. Oh, that's not so bad. And I I'll let that. I'll give you a pass. You know. But if she's not highly attracted to me, oh, that's not gonna work. She be like, he don't go to church. He don't believe. In God, oh no, it's not gonna work. No, no, 
you know but so just think about how it works if he's a celebrity drake r kelly you know think about some of the people that's on television that would with, with, with music out think about the stuff that a lot of women let will let them slide with so see that's from a psychological point of view that's what happens a lot of women let things slide and a lot of parents pimp out their daughters and as soon as they don't get the record deal that they want or when things don't go as planned now it's a problem now they're on television and shows or online complaining about how he he sexually assaulted my daughter he, but you dropped your daughter off to his house so so people are not being accountable for you know their actions they the parent i'm not letting r kelly off the hook but I'm saying the parents, as a parent, you have to take some responsibility in, in this as well. That's all I'm saying. And see, another thing you have to realize is when you're, you know, when you, when you sign these major record deals with these uh, corporations, these record companies, man, is if, if you're selling millions of records like R. Kelly was at the time, Man, you can do no wrong. Anything that comes up, man, they'll just pay the women off or pay whatever problems you have off. They have the best attorneys, man, on staff. They'll just pay these people off. As long as you keep making the corporation money, no problem, man. But as soon as that money starts not coming in as fast as, as, fast as, it, as it used to, and that's where the problem comes in because see R. Kelly, he's an independent artist now. He's not he's not attached to any major record label. So he's not being protected as much as he would versus being attached to a major record label now. So that's where you have you know, these people they're gonna come out the woodwork now because because it's like I haven't heard anything new lately about r kelly i've heard this stuff 20 years ago and everyone knows that r kelly likes young girls but has he broken any laws no no he haven't broken any laws because back in the day even with Aaliyah, um if i remember correctly her family lived in atlanta georgia so in atlanta georgia I think the age of consent is 16. But I think by the time they got married, I think Aaliyah was 17 or 18. Now, in the state of um, Chicago, it's 17. In the state of South Carolina, it's 17. So he hasn't breaking any laws. But at the same time, you might say, hey, man, that's still too young. If he's 28 and she's 17... Or 18, that's still young to get married to a young girl. Okay. And that's that's a good argument. You know, am I going to go get married to a 17-year-old girl? No. But he didn't broke any laws based on the state laws of Georgia and Chicago. It is what it is. Is, you know, I don't know. You know, is he a pervert? Yeah. You know, but... He didn't broke any laws. I know he had that one case where I saw the videotape of that young girl where he was pissing and doing all kinds of nasty stuff or whatever. But that girl came out recently and said that wasn't her on the video. So you have a lot of women that are being paid off to say it ain't them. And the family, Aaliyah's family, in multiple occasions, has come out and said, Aaliyah never done anything wrong. So if the family don't, if the family don't have a problem with it, if Aaliyah's family don't have a problem with it, why do, should anybody else have a problem with it? That's the thing that I don't understand. You know, you can say, hey, R. Kelly's a, okay, he's a, you know, scumbag or 
uh, you know, he's a freaky man, freaky McNasty, like young girls, pervert. Okay, yeah, cool. But don't come, don't try to convince me that somehow um, these media outlets care about women. They don't. But they don't. Because if, if it's a cop that mistreat a young black girl, they say nothing. Nothing it will, is ever being said at all. Now, they only come out because it's, 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 this is, has something to do with R. Kelly. But if it's a cop or some other group or some other individual that abuse black girls, no, nothing is being said. So I'm not buying it. And, and all of a sudden, why come out with these, these, this series now? Why they didn't come out with the series 10, 20 years ago when he was selling a bunch of records, when he was signed to a major record label? Because it wouldn't have went anywhere. Because the major record label, nine times out of 10, would have paid the producers off at probably Lifetime or whoever would, whoever produced it, they would have got paid off. And that's how this works. I mean, if you making these big corporations millions of dollars, they're going to just keep paying people off. And that's the problem. People are getting paid off. And as soon as this person is not making the corporations any money, now they want to come up. They want to come out because that money has dried up. That's the problem. You know, and R. Kelly has done some foul stuff. But at the same time, you can't keep taking the money. And when the money dry up, you come out and, and renege and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get the, my daughter didn't get the record deal and all this. Come on. You, 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 as a parent, as a woman, you have to take some responsibility. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not buying the fake outrage. They, look, they don't care about women in this country. Come on. They, they, when's the last time any corporation cared about women in this country? Especially black little girls. Let, let's, let's be honest. Stop, let, let's stop playing games. You know, if anything, it's just a money grab. It's just a money grab. And all, you know, most of the money going to go to the corporations if anything and the people that really need the money they're not going to get they're not going to see none of the money they're going to you know put all the people in the front let them do all the talking and the people that get all the money it's going to go straight to the corporation they're going to take all the money and go home back up and back out in the suburbs it's so it's, it's just a game that's all it is. It's just a money grab. And they use these celebrities to come up. This is old game. This is nothing new. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Nothing new. I haven't seen anything or heard anything new in the past 20 years. Sad but true. So, hey, man. This, this is what I think uh, about this whole fiasco and this is not my opinion either you can look everything up that I, I talked about in this video it's not my opinion a lot of this stuff is facts a lot of this stuff is public records you know but it's just a game it's something that's been going on it's just a, a money grab the same thing they're doing with R. Kelly they're doing with they did with Bill Cosby it's a money grab that's all it is and just follow the money. If you don't believe me, follow the money. Where is the money going at? Forget the people that's doing all the talking. Who's who's got the money? Who's collecting the money? Forget that fake outrage. Forget the talking. Where is the money going at? Because people are going to be do donating money. If they, they're probably doing it already. Who's collecting the money? Follow the money. And, that, and you're going to find out what I've been talking about, there's some truth in it. 
So hey, if you like this video, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe. Tell me what you think. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.